Tony, take this ring and give it to your bride. And repeat after me. Sophia. Sophia. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. To keep and to cherish. To keep and to cherish. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. God put your hands together. And Sophia, take and give to your room. I repeat after me. Tony, I give you this ring. I say, talking of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. To keep and to cherish. To keep and to cherish. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Charles, for your answer. I said sorry you are not allowed here. Please, they need to accept out of this place. I want to embarrass you. I will not be embarrassed. Thank you very much. And then better. It's back a while more. I'm waiting. I will stand here and wait. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I declare you husband and wife. <laughs> Fighting. Let's slow this fighting. If only this love could be left to grow. I've seen lots of people tie their knots even only because of their bond. So let us hold on strong. Cause love always wins it all. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! You want to go back? Mother, what God has done to let that no man is good. Mother, 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 mother,
you going with that child? Because you cannot have it. You stole another woman's child so you can please my son. Now, you will take that child back to its mother. Or else I will kill no. you! No!
What is it? Feel free, go ahead. It's been long I went to see my parents at the village. I'd really love to go this weekend. It's fine. I don't have a problem if you want to see your parents. For as long as you want to be long. Mm. I know how lonely it is out here when you want to go home. Two weeks. Just two weeks. Okay. You know, there is nothing that you will ask me for and I can say no. I can never do it. Because I love you very much. If not for that job I have with UNICEF, I would have said we go together. You know, it's okay, man. I'm going Right? Come on. Ah. You'll be fine. Okay. Must you be being into every little thing you did? I'm sorry you guys the impression you have, okay? Oh. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't have allowed your wife to travel down to the village. And I'm asking you why? Is it not her village? Are you trying to tell me you don't understand the level of witchcraft those people are unleashing people? In 2009? It doesn't matter. <laughs> if your wife is missing her mom like she said you, she told you, the best thing is just to invite the mom over. Simple. Rather than letting her go all that way. <laughs> really? Let's just cut the conversation, all right? Because it's, it's useless. She's already traveled. What are we discussing? It's okay. I'm just being concerned. Uh -huh. By the way, I forgot. Here. Let's go to it and tell me what you think. That's a minute. Mother, welcome hug. Did I not tell you? Did I not warn you that whenever you come into my house, you need to notify me? You mean I have to notify you before coming to your house? I actually have to write an application letter to come and see my own son? Yes. Yes. Are you not the one that cursed my marriage? Are you not the one that said you want to make it miserable for me? Are you not the one? So I need to be prepared for all your nonsenses and your troubles when you walk in this house. Notify me. You know what? You can say all the rubbish you like, I don't care. The important thing is that I know what your problem is and I am here to solve it. That's a lie. You know nothing about my problems. And even if you did, you're the last person I'll come and see. You were a good mother. Simple. Ah, good evening. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Her name is Juliet and um, her bride price is already been paid. She's your new bride. So why don't you just give her a sweet smile? Now listen to me, young woman. I am a married man. I have a wife. And her name is Sophia. I can never be with you. Now you know. You better take your so-called bride and get out of my house before I do something that you will regret it, both of you, because you don't know. Get out. I don't care what I hate you're saying, all right? All I know is that Juliet and I are here to stay, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look, Juliet, most other women would tell you to stand with one leg. I, Madam Marcus, I'm telling you to stand with on the ground. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> what he has as a wife is a man. And too many of my darling cannot live in the same house. So just relax and maybe you should get something to eat. Okay. Good idea. <laughs>
Tony. Are you okay? It's very unusual of you slipping on the road in Pakistan. What's the problem? What about the stakes, man? I got home from work yesterday. Only for me to see my mother. And she's brought some girl from the village. She's paid the girl's bride price. And she's brought the girl to be my new bride. Can you imagine? What? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hey. Well, you can't be serious. Hmm? Has it gotten to this level? Just looked around, got one room, told the girl to stay. It's crazy. See what I told you? Might not be vindicated now. I believe if Sophia was around, your mom wouldn't have the audacity to bring another woman into the house. So what are you gonna do now? Are you planning? I don't know. I don't know. You know my, my head is so full. You know, I'm just going to just ignore them. Just ignore them. Ignore? You don't ignore such thing. Just send the girl back in. You've got to send her away before she gains ground in the house and begins to insult your wife when she comes back. I agree. Totally agree with you. But my mom, she's going to live in my house. Yeah. Look, wait. My mind is... Just messed up thinking about Sophia. I have too many things in my mind. I'm just going to ignore her. I think that's what I'll do. Wait, I, mean, I don't understand. Your mom lives with you right now in the house. Yes. As crazy as it sounds, she lives in my house with the girl. She's come that's going to live in the house. She's locked up her own. when I am here. It's not right at all. Anyway, sweetheart, you need to see the wonderful meal I have just prepared for my wonderful husband. <laughs> I know you like the food. Is it that you're blind? Is it that you're blind? Or you're just a moron that you cannot see that you're not wanted here? Open your eyes. Open your Stop eyes. Stop this now. And stop fooling around. And I beg you, in the name of whatever you hold sacred, don't call me love, sweetheart, honey, or whatever. I don't know you and I don't want to know you. Think it out. What is wrong with you? You're a very wicked man. Very wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 I'm very sorry, my love. My talk is really bad. Now, guess what? I'm actually sitting down on my father's old car trying to grab my toy. I'm going to be surprised if the line comes up. Okay, I see. This house has been hell since you left. I'm sorry. But not to worry, I'm going back home tomorrow. You come back tomorrow? Awesome! Awesome! I can't wait to see your face once again, your beautiful face of yours. Well, my flight is for 3 o'clock. Are you picking me up? Sure. 3 o'clock, you say? I, I should be around the airport about that time. So once the plane lands, just call me about 3 o'clock. I can pick you up. Shouldn't be a problem. I love you. I love you too. See you tomorrow. Okay. 
such a wicked man. Very wicked. I've been sweating myself all day in the kitchen just to prepare your favorite meal. And what do I get? And you don't want to eat. and she's nowhere to be found. Why did you call her on the phone? I've been calling her since, a million times already. And I'm getting very, very worried. The phone is off. This is a serious symptom. So what are we going to do about that? Are you sure it was her mom who spoke? Fred, please. Don't I know the voice of my mother-in-law anymore? I spoke to her and she, she said yes. Sophia was leaving today as she and I agreed that she would leave. I even spoke to the driver that took it from the village to the airport. I don't know what is going on, man. This is really confusing, my wife. I don't know where she could be. She's not in your house and she's not in the village with her mom. She's not with her friend that you called. And there was no plane crash and no accident, so... Not that I know of. No, because if there was, if there is any accident, they would have announced it. I don't want to do any more. What is going on? Why would she disappear? Mommy, I can't stay here any longer. I can't. I just have to go. Because I've done everything I could do as a human being. Still, it's not just working. He doesn't even care if I exist or not. He, he doesn't even see the woman in me. Don't tell me you're giving up so easily. His wife has been gone for so long. 
This is an opportunity for you to use the woman in you to seduce him. Mommy, I have tried everything. I've tried everything. You need to see what he did to me the other day. He almost injured me. If not by the saving grace. In short, I just have to say this. I'm sorry to say it. But your son is a very wicked man. No, no, no. Oh, I totally disagree with you. My son is just an extremist. Everything he does, he takes to an extreme. I'll tell you what to do. Just follow him bumper to bumper. And before you know it, you will get what you want. Oh, hey, no. Do you see what he did to me now? Do you see what he did to me? What kind of a man is this? It's okay. He's just been like his father. His father used to be like that. All right? See, all you have to do is take charge. You're the wife in this house. Get up and take charge of your home. Okay? I'm not taking charge of anything because I've tried everything I can. What was what, all this? Is it when I kill myself? I just have to go.
Oh yes, it's for Tony. Okay. Thank you. to walk away. There's no need staying when I can't have children for you. Like your mother said, I don't want to be responsible for the end of your father's lineage. I understand you now have a new wife. Just be with her. And think less of me. I'm okay. I'm very okay where I am. Don't bother looking for me. I will always love you. Always. Yes, ever. Sophia. No, I, I can't do this. How could she do a thing like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she would do that. Have you spoken to her mom about it? I mean, have you told her about this decision she made? I think it's her own decision. She didn't do it, not at all. So, my doesn't know about it. Why would she do this to me? Why would she do this to me? It's not fair. You know, it's not fair. I chose to marry her, regardless of the situation. I still married. She didn't even consider my feelings. It's not right. It's not right. It's just not right. Hey, hey, come on, come on. You don't have to cry, man. Just brace yourself up, okay? Be the man. At least, the most important thing now is that we know she's alive. And from what she wrote in this letter. But if she's okay where she is. She's alive, how, how does that help me that she's alive? She's not here. She's not here, but it was important to me. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, man. You don't have to cry. You don't have to cry, please. Green is the color of life. And life remains the most beautiful thing on earth. It has come to my knowledge that a tree can never make a forest. He has not managed to appreciate the woman in me because he has refused to look 
But tonight is the night he must look. He must look and must see what is beyond the feminine beauty in me and the show of ecstatics. Start afresh! <laughs> Get it going! <laughs> so, where, where did the all this? And then, mommy, you know he said he has a business to catch up with and he's running it. So, let's just allow him to go to work. When he comes back, we can finish the discussion. Okay? Okay. You heard her? Yeah. That's my Juliet. Okay. Second to none. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you, mom. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Uh-huh. Is that not your name? 
Is Madame Bakasi not your name? Huh? Look, you just have to go back to your husband's house. This is my husband's house. I am married to your son. So stop putting us on that. Me. Wait. I put asunder. Look at this girl. Hey! Point of correction, Madam Bakasi. I am not a girl. I am your son's wife. So accord me some respect. Wife. Which wife? <laughs> hey! Your almighty wife. That will bear you lovely and beautiful grandchildren. Aha. You think my right is now? Not anymore. Not anymore! Now will you go in the pack of things and get out of this house? Ah! You lie, Madame Makassi. You lie in your dreams. If we are looking for who is going to go in there to pack her things, it is going to be you. I will not allow anybody, anybody to order me around. Not even you. This is my husband's house. So you, go back to your husband's house. So go in there, pack those miserable things of yours and leave this place and run your supermarket. Stop poking your nose into something that doesn't concern you. This is my husband's house. Go back to yours. <laughs> you think I'm still here? Huh? I am not. Oh. I am not. You have met your match. Try me. Try me. Madam Bakasi. Did I hear you right? Are you out of your mind? Come on, what's wrong with you? You don't know what I'm going through. You have no idea what I'm experiencing. This lady puts up an astonishing performance in bed. You need to experience it all the time. But it's it's amazing. It's it's just it's out of this world, man. I'm telling you, you need to experience to know what I'm talking about. She's good. Do you realize the shift you're getting into? Do you realize that? What about Sophia, your wife? What about Sophia? She abandoned me. So? She abandoned me. She left. Didn't you read the letter? So? Did you not read it? And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy the way things just turned out. You know, that my mother found Juliet. It brings to mind. You know, I... I, I Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hello, Mom. Hi, I, I was just talking to Fred right now, letting him know uh, how I feel indebted to you because uh, you found Juliet for me. It's crazy, right? Now listen to me, too. I don't feel comfortable with that girl. I want her out of this house. Mother, please don't just let me get angry for me. Will you listen to me, Tony? I'm stuck heading for the deep end. I was the one that brought that girl into your life. And I am telling you that she's not good enough for you. Now, Mother, you listen to me. I don't care if you found Juliet for me or not. I like her, and I want to be with her, and I will marry her. You cannot come between Juliet and myself. If you don't like her, you go. You leave the house, because I will be with her. You know what? You're even wasting my time, bye-bye. Can you imagine? Can't you see? Isn't it crystal clear to you that all is not well about this whole shit you're getting into? Isn't it? Even your mom who found the girl, the so-called Juliet for you, is now against her. Come on, Tony. You gotta think. Think. Listen, Fred. I love Juliet, but there's nothing that can change it. For me right now, you are wasting my time. See you later, man. What's the test result? I have the mirror in your blood is on the high side. 
and it's very significant. I'm sure that's the reason why you fell asleep while driving. Well, I don't know, but it happened four times. I just found myself nodding. I was there. I was not somewhere now. The expressway. So I just decided to go and change here to find out what's wrong. But what can I do now? Well, you have two options here. It's either you forget about your trip and get the mother process treated, or you engage the types of a driver that will drive you. Doctor, the patient in your floor, she has been only looking at me. She has been muttering, Tony, 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 Tony. Please, could you come and see her? pregnant and uh, we are doing our best to make sure that the baby is not affected. Wow! This is good news. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. How oh, don't be so excited to hear this. You know what? I'm going to stay back and take her home. Right? It's okay. I mean, this is the third week we've kept this woman here. I can't take 200,000 naira and stay in this cup for second place. Let's end that and go. I mean, let's get out. Do you know what? Close this topic. I don't want to hear it again. We agreed to keep her for one month and we charge 200,000 naira. The money has been paid, so we are not going to renege from the contract. Have you gone not? Let your IP come to me.
Hello, Fred. What's up? Hey, Tony. I have good news for you. The confusion is over now. Good news. I, I, I just like good news. Go ahead. What's happened? I have found your wife. Found my wife? <laughs> my wife is at home waiting for me to get back. What are you talking about? You found my wife. Guy, I'm saying I have found Sophia, your wife, and she's pregnant for you. Now, Fred, you listen to me carefully. Carefully. I don't know what kind of games you're trying to play, but I'm not interested in any of those games. Please, ever since I've been with Juliet, I have been happy. Peace has reigned. As my friend, please let that peace reign. Don't bring about any disorder. Please. Listen to me, Tony. What I'm saying is that... Hello? No. No, it's not, it's not that. I believe it's the pain of your disappearance that is still tormenting you. Fred. He's no longer excited about me. That's not true. I'll take you back and I'll show him the season everything will turn around. Okay? I'm gonna stop crying. Alright, please. Everything's gonna be fine. I have been watching you all day. You seem very excited. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> You know, the level is higher than usual. And I'm just wondering, is it because I've finally been able to throw my mother out of the house? No. <sighs> okay. So why have you been excited? Hmm. Take a guess. Oh, no. I'm not good at guessing games. You know that. Tell me why, come on. Okay. Well, I, um, I saw the doctor today. 
and he confirmed I am pregnant. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely yeah, excited. Wait, 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 let me let me get used to the idea. <laughs> I am going to be a father. Yes. Why are you staring at me like that? You don't recognize Sophia anymore? Your wife? Who are you calling my wife? Huh? Friend. You're my friend. Don't come and spoil things. I don't appreciate you walking into my house and disturbing my peace. As you can see, I'm, I'm having quality time here. I need it. My love, you've been bewitched. You excuse the hell out of me. What did you just say? Hey, shut up, okay? Hey, you, 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 you shut up! Fred, this is my house. Sweetie, sit down. Okay? Come on. You shut up, Fred. Okay? You can't come to my house and tell me, tell somebody to shut up. Because this is my house. I decide who shuts up and who speaks. When? Now you listen to me. You pretend that. You wrote me that curse letter, didn't you? So what are you doing here? What do you want? Tony, if you just let me explain, okay? She was kidnapped by some hoodlums. She managed to escape, all right? Can't you just realize that this is your wife, Sophia, and that she's pregnant for you even as we speak? Oh, she's pregnant for you, Fred. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? She's pregnant for you. I beg your pardon? It's not my pregnancy. I beg your pardon. Excuse you. Don't think I can be deceived when you come and tell me that uh, she's pregnant. Now I see that all the things you said to me on the phone is clicking. And none of it makes sense to me. I get it now. I don't know what is wrong with you. What is wrong with you? Listen to me, Tony. I think you should open your eyes and see. Open your eyes and realize that you are sinking deep into abyss. And it might be too late before you would realize it. Open your eyes. Fred, this is the last time I'm going to say this. Take your girlfriend and the pregnancy. Take it. Go and nurture your own pregnancy because it is not mine. Leave my house. We are friends, I understand that. But leave my house. Go before I make you! Well, before we make you. Let's go. Go! Let's go, let's go. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Go, it's okay, it's okay. Go, it's okay. go. Go, Fred, don't come back. Let's go. Hey, Fred, Fred. Hey, hey, hey. hey you're my friend, you're my friend. Don't spoil things. Just me. Tony. Don't worry. Hey! Sidney, open the door! Let them get out! Just spoil my, 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 my peaceful time. Just calm down. Keep the hood lost. What kind of nonsense is that? house. I don't have time. I don't have time. Come on. Well, I am back to the fashion yard and I will not move an inch out of this house. I see. Fine. You want to stay? As you can see, we are on our way out. You want to stay? You do whatever. Will you come? <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna love her, you know. Okay.
Then what the hell are you doing here? How do you ask yourself that question on the sides of me? What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? This is my house! Is it the time you tell her? Is it the time you stop this nonsense and tell her she doesn't belong here? I didn't even think I was going to see you again. What are you still doing here for? What do you want here? You haven't even let me explain. Well, I don't want your explanation. I don't need it. This is my room. In fact, it's our room. If you want to sleep in another room, so be it. Get no. out. I am not moving an inch out of this house. Get out. I will not move. happening? You! Why on earth did you allow this witch to spend the night in this house? Eh? Oh yeah, just tell her to just give me my car keys now! Can you please tell her this is my car? It's okay. Um, give me. Well, this is my car. We <laughs> registered it together. Mm. Oh, no. You just give me the car key. Oh yeah, now. Just give me. No more fights. Tell her to come down from my car. Come down. Sophia, come down. Come down. Calm down. It's okay. Come down. Come down. Okay, come down. What's your set now? You want to pick a taxi? Right there. Sidney! Get a taxi! Can you let me go, please, No fights. Imagine your taxi city and come. You, you come to my own house to fight over my own car. Ha! So, Sophia, I I want you to wipe your tears. Okay? Stop crying for one second. I would like you to forget about Tony for now. Yeah, just forget about him for now. Think of your own child. That's the most important thing now. Right? And if you agree with me, I would suggest you go back to Madame Bakasi, Tony's mom, and stay with her. I believe now that the girl she brought for Tony to marry is even against her, and she's against the girl. I believe she will know how valuable you are now. She will appreciate you the more. She will treat you like a mother now and take care of you in more time. I'm so afraid. I can't go to Madame Pekasi. She is the genesis of all my misfortunes. I can't imagine myself seeking refuge under her roof. I can't. Well, it's okay. You can stay here. This whole big place. Yeah, you can stay. Because I don't want you to go back to that house. Tony and that witch of a girl might just conspire one day and beat you up. 
and cause you damages. It's not right. Okay? Thank you very much. But I am not going to leave my matrimonial home because of a witch. I will not move out because of her. I can't. I serve a living God. And he never abandons his people. I will not leave my home because of her. One of the bottled waters there. I don't want her dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do not want her dead. All I want you to do is to hold her and force her to write a letter to her husband telling him she's no more interested in the marriage and that he should go ahead and marry whoever the mother has brought for him to marry. You can now force her to write any other thing that will make the husband turn away from her. All right? Here, here's the balance of your money. Please put it away, you never know who's around. Madam, you can always count on me. A deal is a deal. It had better be a deal, because the person that recommended you, recommended you high. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. just try to do it. I have to go. You know it's quite late. You're not talking. 
What is the problem? You brought me out here by this time of the night and you don't want to say anything? Yeah, Yawadongas. Yawadongas. What do you mean, Yawadongas? Madam, you get on that. What happened? Madam, you stick on part of one of my things. Oh, I told you I did not want her dead. I didn't ask for that. Did you what? I don't know. I have never met you. I... to have you. When they told me you were dead, I just... <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I am the cause of all your predicaments. And now you're finally pregnant for my son. I've, I've sent a Jezebel into his life. God, oh Jesus. I'm wicked. I'm a wicked woman. I agree. You are his We need to come together to get him out of the hands of that wicked woman. Please, Sophia, you're a good woman. You're a good wife. How can you put up with me? Eh? How? I forgive you. I do. But God will bless you. He will bless this baby you're carrying. You will have goodness all through your life. Hey, how? Jehovah. Jehovah, forgive me. Forgive a sinner. Mortals have alleged that the love of money is the root of all evil. That is fallacy. Everything is possible with money. Money makes the world go round. I have come to stay, and I need money to start. Saturate this whole house with the breeze of obedience. I am going to ask, and he must obey.
<laughs> oh, Tony. Yeah. Tony. What was that rubbish you were talking about um, going to church last night? I didn't really get you. My mother said you're a member of her church. Now, why would you say something like that? Why would you say something that concerns the church as being rubbish? Isn't that a contradiction? Well, um, I'm sorry for saying that. So, what were you saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, uh, I was just thinking that um, I should start going to church. You know, at least every Sunday, because. Ever since Sophia left, I've never been to church. I don't think that's right. I need to revive my church life. You know, start going to church again. Okay, no problem. Since that's what you want, no problem. Out. I'm going to tell them that there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, thou ancient of days, we call on your power. Descend with your mighty power, Lord, and set the captive free. Amen. Come and set the captive free. Amen. Release him in the name of Jesus. Amen. I come against you. Release him. God, lose him. Let the captive be set free. Amen. Set him free. Set him free. Set him free in the name of Jesus. Because come in your power and set Tony free. Set Tony free, Lord. Let him be free. Let him be free. Let him be free. Those demonic spirits that are tormenting Tony, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Leave him alone and be gone. I command you to go. Amen. Go. Amen. Go. Amen. Go. Amen. Go. Amen. Nothing. Nothing has done a I pass you to leave him in the name of Jesus. Be God in Jesus' name. Be God in Jesus' name. I set you free. Don't pass me. I tell you, I cast you out. Amen. Out of that body. Amen. Get out. Amen. What are you still doing? What kind of stupid question is that? I'm your wife. No. Where's Sophia? Where's Sophia? Sophia! Sophia! Tony! Get out and never go back again! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Oh, thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Sophia! Thank you, Jesus! Oh, glorious Father! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Oh, glory! Oh, glory!
There are strangers in this house. And I have a feeling that a strange occupation is imminent. Please manifest yourself to me. I have to stop the strangers. I have to stop this intruders. Please manifest. This is my house and I am not moving an inch. Please manifest. Manifest. Please manifest. Jesus, leave this place. Oh, Be gone in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. 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 I come against you. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Unto the Be gone in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Be gone.